I don't think I can really influence how people would feel about the work. I think that is out of my sphere of influence, but certainly on a larger scale, I think my work deals with um, freedom in a sense, yeah, that you, and flexibility, I think has a lot to do with how we live, that we actually do have to make decisions all the time in a sense that we adapt to situations. It doesn't make sense to have ideologies or fixed ideas about situations, I think, anymore. Maybe there were times when it was useful, but now things are changing so fast and we're living with so many different people together, with so many different, they come from all these different um, ethnic backgrounds, cultural backgrounds, whatever uh, things we, we're um, in touch with are so diverse. I think, um, therefore, it is very important to be um, uh, adopting any minute, any second to these new um, inputs. And, th and then we generate new constellations, and these constellations are any minute new ones. So it could be you come back two, a weeks, um, in, within a two weeks' time, and you might have a certain... Um, feeling about the work and then you come back again and you might feel differently, yeah? And still you you'll identify yourself with your um, person, you think you're that same person, but no, you will have very different experiences with the same work. You might have experienced that with Cezanne or other people that you think you know, you know, that is art history and you have read, uh, read um, texts about these people, but nevertheless they have different um, relevance for your life uh, in different moments of your life. And I think that's the same with my work. So therefore, I can't really um, influence precisely what it should mean to you. I think it's not about meaning the work. It's more about a certain feeling of space and, yeah, as I said, maybe also um, expansion and flexibility. And also, what I'm really interested in is that um, what you look at is not what makes the whole picture. I think the picture or the painting I make consists of visible and invisible things. It might sound a little weird, but, um, <laughs> you know, you have this certain wall there, and it's got this crazy shape, and also it's leaning away from you. And then as you look at this painting from the first floor, it, is, it might look not so big, maybe even small, because it's going that way, and so it shrinks. The surface looks smaller, but then as you go to the second floor, all of a sudden it unfolds, and then you go to the third floor, and then you might see something that you weren't able to see from downstairs. And this, is, and this is the fascinating thing with making um, more dimen multidimensional paintings, because paintings, as they tend to be on a um, two-dimensional surface, they don't really have that feeling that you can't look at everything at the same time. You see it pretty much there, right? But a painting that's in the space looks different from all different perspectives. And therefore, um, that experience that you might make is that there is no one right perspective to the situation that it really changes your point of view as you move in the space and that it looks very different from all the different angles that you might um, uh, yeah, encounter during that little trip through the stairwell. And that was one reason why I chose that space.